Released back in September 2009, Halo 3 ODST was a bold step away from the Spartan Focus action previous Halo games. This time, you played as an orbital drop shock trooper, a regular soldier, no shields, no super strength, just a standard issue SMG, a pistol, some grit, and a squad on your side. While remembering this game in its past and some of the pros and the cons of this game, one of the standout features was this noir atmosphere. Unlike previous entry, you weren't in on some alien space station, some random planet, you were boots on the ground in New Mombasa, where you were dropped into a city, torn apart from covenant forces, the rain, the lights, in a perfect tone. It felt like a Halo game that was different enough, that was alternative from the norm that we all loved, or at least me in particular, I absolutely loved it. Fifteen years ago today, Microsoft and Bungie have granted us with one of the most amazing games that has come out in history, Halo 3 ODST. I gotta say guys, this game means a lot to me. This is one of the games that I've got into that I delve pretty much the most time into after Halo 3. It's a real game that's close to my heart and I really wish they would make another one. Right now we're just gonna go back and we're gonna reminisce on some of the good qualities of ODST and the future of the Halo IP and hopefully we can get an ODST too. What can I say people? ODST is one of the pinnacle of games. Man, I remember coming home from school and seeing the Xbox uh, trailer for it. Dude, the live action Xbox trailers, what they came out with for Halo were some of the most amazing things. The Halo license is really, really big on certain aspects. Of course, you want to deal with Master Chief for the main campaigns, but what they really need to do is come out with some side spinoff projects. I would love to have an ODST too. It'll have an ODST theme that's not with Master Chief. Or it could be some Marines or some Corporals or something. But ODST is prime real estate. It really is. ODST is prime real estate that marks up, hey, you can have a stealth game. You can have something to deal with akin to Splinter Cell. Like, I had a vision a long time ago. We liked the rookie because he was a, a small, silent-ish character with a helmet. Narratives. He had his own story and narratives. Going out, finding his friends, finding his squad mate. Aspect of the storytelling in the rain. New Mombasa in the rain boots on the ground none of this fancy if you're not a spartan i don't want to be a spartan all the time because i wanted to be this guy he was a regular soldier that just did his thing but he was more of a detective i see where halo infinite was trying to go with this but it didn't hit this mark the tones of the music in this game it's it's guys you just don't know man it you just you literally you had to be there back then 2009 september 2009 this is the 15 year anniversary people Going back, hell jumping from the space, going down to New Mombasa to see what the Covenant has done in New Mombasa was some of the coolest uh, video game aspects I've ever seen. And then you have the storytelling. Guys, I can't stress enough. This is just me rambling. We're not gonna have like a full blown video. This is me rambling. The storytelling was simple yet effective. You go here, see a cutscene. New Mombasa is the hub world. You go here, you do the other cutscene, then you slowly piece together the main plot of what's going on in ODST. This is was the beginning of something very, very good. A new style of Halo game. Back in the day, we had other variants of Halo games. Of course, you had Halo Wars, the canceled Halo project, the Lego Halo game, and then you had Spartan Assault. There's a lot of things that's ripe for real estate. Xbox, give us Halo ODST2. Xbox, give us Halo ODST 2, please. Or make it a different game. Don't have to call it ODST, but make sure you're not a Spartan, but make it detective based and you have to go do skirmish battles. Make sure you're not as strong as a Spartan. You know what I'm saying? I know I'm doing a bad way to pitch this because I don't I don't deal with story stuff, but I don't know. Maybe I'm biased, but maybe I am. I got Halo ODST here. I got clothing. I got statues over there. I even got my posters in the back. This guy was so cool. Like, I was like, hey, it's the first time you see someone in a different style of helmet going home playing with the boys, playing with the squad, firefight. To this day, Xbox 343, none of you guys could ever recreate how the firefight experience went with ODST. None of you guys could recreate that. The seven on seventh recon helmet, you had to spend all those hours in firefight. We spent up to eight hours in six to eight hours in firefight just to get that achievement. Me, Peter the Fox, and some other dudes. I man, me and these other boys that we used to play this game. Hours, the best experience. Round base, it gets tougher and tougher. Fighting the hunters, fighting the big brutes. 
with the hammers. Then again, people, I'll probably have a standalone piss for an ODST 2 or ODST re envisioned because there was recently we saw what ODST looked like in the Unreal Engine. If Microsoft is okay getting rid of the getting rid of the 343 and doing another Halo project, not really getting rid of or just reallocating them for a new studio of doing another Halo project that's standalone with Unreal Engine, that would be the good thing right there because Unreal is just slowly taking over a lot of people, developers. A lot of developers are actually going in and switching up their stuff for Unreal. Even though Unreal has its problems, the look and feel of this game with the new textures and lighting can do a good wonder. Because ODST back then, there wasn't really rain in the game because it didn't mesh well. It made the game run worse. However, what you guys didn't know was they had a little aspect of the rain hitting the visor to simulate rain. You heard the sound effects. And not to mention the back storytelling. That's pretty much what makes ODS2 a good game. The gameplay is Halo ODST style was good. And I really wish we'd go back to that charm in this game. I know I'm not doing a good job representing this, but I see a future where we can get more ODST in the future. And hopefully, Microsoft, you listen to me, I'll have a standalone pitch for you. Work with me, work with some other people, get some good writers. We got it, we need this. Happy 15 years of ODST, people. I'm out.